free daily logger reward for the guaranteed shapeshifters pack. So let's open a load of these up and let's see what we can get. Are you out of coins for the brand new shapeshifters promo? I've got nothing left. Well then head over to MuleFactory.com for the cheapest, most safe and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Okay boys, so today we are here for the guaranteed shapeshifters packs which you basically could get for free. If you didn't know, all you had to do was over the last 7 days basically submit a squad, 8 silver cards and 3 gold cards and none of them had to be rare so basically costing like what, 1k a pot if that. Really, really cool idea from EA. If you guys did miss out on a day though, it's kind of annoying probably because you didn't get the pack. Whether they'll keep it going and maybe you can get your pack at a later date. I'm not too sure. But today, we're going to be opening up a load of three packs. I've got one on my account. I've got my RTG as well. And we've also got a load of your guys' packs. So if you guys have opened up any of these, let me know in the comments below what you managed to get. Was it a good pull or was it bad? Are you going to use them or are they just fodder? Anyways, that's enough of me blabbing on at the start of this video. And let's get straight into the packs. And then... I'll see you guys after. All right, we have completed the Shapeshifter player pack, the guaranteed Shapeshifter pack, and also year review packs are out as well. So year review player picks. So we're going to do a load of the Shapeshifter packs and year review picks. I am excited. Let's get them opened and let's see what we can get. All right, we also got the FIGS team of season player pack for completing the last daily objective. So we might as well open it up for the video just in case we get something good. French, right mid. It's Diab. It's not. I don't think I have him. I mean, he's probably going to go to the year review uh, uh, player pick. Sorry, I'm not going to lie. But on to the shapeshifter pack. All right, shapeshifter player pack. Any shapeshifter from Team One probably going to be a Bellerin or a Saint Just, which is sad to say. But you, you know, who is it? Okay, it's not. Uh, you know, I actually thought that was a towel when I first looked at it. Spinazola. Actually, a very good card. Five star skills, 99 pace. That's a very solid pull. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I've got Chiellini. I've got uh, Tonali's team in this season. I've got Damian right back. Like, he links with all of them. So that's actually not too bad. A good way to kick the video off. Year in review, baby. I think my boy Jordan has got year in review and also the shapes of the pack. Here we go. First year in review we're going to see in today's video. Ooh. Okay. Uh, probably Zinchenko or Yazabal. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's pretty mid. Actually, not even mid. That wasn't even mid, man. That was that's pretty bad. All right, well, shapeshifter pack, anyways. Oh, he's gonna open these packs. Why don't you get shapeshifters? We'll see you guys there. All right, here we go. It is time for the year in review. Sorry, year in review shapeshifter pack. Number two for the video of the shapeshifters. What do we see? Anything good? Sp that is two. He's actually been shafted in both in both his first year review and the shapeshifters. That is a terrible combination. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. And he's already got him. Oh, get me off. Get me off. All right, man like Zach here. I think this might be his team of the season pack first. He's cracked open. Well, I'll show you guys it now. We're already halfway through it. Portugal. <gasps> okay, it's Bernardo. It's Bernardo. All right, onto the shapeshifter. All right, shapeshifter player pack number three. Pack number four, technically, for this video, including the player picks. Brazilian striker. I forgot who. Oh, that's Everton. I completely forgot who that was, and it's Everton. Okay, still not the not the greatest. Like, he's, yeah, he's not. Yeah, it's not great. All right, here we go. Shapeshifters player pack from my boy Brad on his RTG. Get up, make it something good here. Yeah, come on. Let's see a big one now. Oh no! I actually, it's mine been the best so far. I, I think mine's been the best shapeshifter so far. Bellerin is just not really what you want to see. I can't lie. I cannot lie. All right, shout out to the boy Robbie. Robster87, my man, my very good friend. One of three, March, April, May. I actually don't know what the best you can get from this is. I kind of just got excited because it's year in review and they were sick. But like, what is the best you can get realistically from these? Maybe they're not. They needed to include Team of the Season SBCs in here. I can't lie. They needed to include Team of the Season SBCs here. I don't know why they didn't. Okay, that's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's... Uh, okay. All right, after the Bellerin, Jordan's back. He's got... I think this is his second year review, right? I think we opened his other one earlier. This first one was pretty bad. I don't think we've seen a good one of these yet. I don't think we've seen a good one of these yet. Okay. Oh, yo, yo, wait. Ho, oh, skip back. I'd probably go for Lamar here, right? Danjima's not bad, but Lamar, maybe? I'd actually probably take Lamar. That's not bad. Gibbs White... You know, it's not bad, but Lamar's not bad. That's definitely the best one we've seen so far. Like, 100%, that's the best one we've seen so far. Lamar's pretty solid, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, very good. I mean, links to strong link to Carrasco, who's out at the moment. And also, obviously, you know, Felix has got a team in the season. Not bad. He's got Jan Juma, though. He's got that. Maybe he fits, sorts his, uh, sorry, fits his team better, or maybe prefers him. Not, not bad still. All right, Cousins here. He's got a year in review. 
best one was definitely the last one we just opened up. So if we can get anything better than that, that's good. I think T is player of the month and Bappe available in these. I think he is. So if you can get him, that's probably like one of the biggest dubs. It's got to be definitely one of the biggest dubs. Fernandinho or Foden? Oh, damn. Foden 100% there. That's a dub. That's a definite dub. Okay, that's the best one so far. And you know what? If he didn't have the Costa, that was also once again a dub. Yeah, Foden's a big dub. Very good. I like that. I like that. And yeah, he's gone for Foden by the looks of it. Yep. Foden selected. That's a definite dub. I didn't know you could get Foden. That is good. All right. Cuz is here with a shapeshifter player pack. Let's see what he gets. Come on. Best one so far to beat is Spinazzola. All right. That's what we got to beat here. Spinazzola. Come on. French. Centre back. All right. Oh, I thought it was Kalulu. I mean, Mikael's still pretty good, right? But like, Kalulu, I think, is a bit more expensive. I can't lie. It's still a good pull. He's, he's definitely usable. He's actually... That's got to be a dub. 100%. All right. Mr. Brad... Uh, sorry. BK Brad is here on his main account now. If he gets anything good from this Tots pack, we'll show you. But yeah. Okay. Straight under the shapes of the pack. Just ignore. Just ignore the team of the season pack. We don't even want to talk about it realistically. Okay. Best shapeshifter to beat is... I still say Spinozola. I want to say he's more expensive. I'm not too sure. I might be wrong. Oh, Aubameyang. Okay. I think that's now the best one. I think that is now the best one is Aubameyang. Um, yeah, that's just a little bit more expensive than Spinozola, but a dub. That's good. That's a solid pull. All right, so to Abby here, here we go. He's got the year review, and I think maybe shapeshifters as well. I might be wrong, though. Let's have a look. Year review. This is the first one we've clicked, so maybe we can bring the luck. Oh, we do bring the luck. That's a dub. That's a big dub. Yo, Deli Ali's a massive dub. That card is ridiculous, like, really good. That card is sick. Oh, that's a big... That's probably the best one now so far. I'd say Deli Ali's personally better than Foden, in my opinion. That is a big dub. And yeah, he wants Ali. Uh, I mean, if he wouldn't take Ali, that'd be pretty stupid. He's already got Rasper Dorian. Osman's also 87 rated. He's the highest rated and definitely the best one. That's a dub. All right, shapeshift the pack now. All right, Abby's shapeshift the pack now. Here we go. Number 12 of the shapeshifter slash year in review picks. Come on, then. Who's this? Is that... Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Why did, why did he have to make a return? Why did he have to return? Like, seriously. I mean, he did just get a big pull in the year in review, but really? No, really? No. Okay, on to the next set. All right, man, like Jake is here with just the year in review, but can it be good? Deli Ali's the one to beat so far, in my opinion. Him slash Foden, I guess you could probably put on the same level. I think Ali's better. Perisic. Ooh, Perisic is not a bad card, right? That's pretty solid. Vaya. Yeah, Perisic isn't bad. Perisic isn't bad. That's not too bad. Not, not bad. Number 13. All right, Brad's back. Third time. Lucky. Wait, I, can't, I actually completely forgot what pulls he's had, but let's just hope the third time is lucky anyways. That's what we're looking for. Go on. Get up. Canales. He's got a team in the season. De Vries. He's got a... Has he got a touch? I don't know, but it's not the best, but it's not the worst, I guess. All right, here we go. Jordan. We've got Jordan here with the 15th pack. Oh, it's been his year. Well, we might as well throw this in because we're, we're already halfway through speaking. Um, we've got the 15th pack here out of the Shapeshifters slash um, year in review. So let's see what he gets. Noya, that's not bad fodder. All right, Shapeshifters pack 15. Go on. Something big. Make it sick. Oh, my God. How many Bellerins? He's definitely been the most common, sadly. He actually definitely has been the most common, which is kind of annoying. But it is what it is. There we go. Then that wraps up today's video on the guaranteed shapeshifter packs. Like I said earlier, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you got in your packs as well. Were they good or were they bad? But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.